Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a pretty cool piece of software called Win Dynamic Desktop. And what this is, is a port of the Mac OS Mojave Dynamic Desktop feature to Windows 10. So really quick for those who don't know, back when Apple introduced Mac OS Mojave, they introduced a feature called Dynamic Wallpapers, which would allow you to set a specific wallpaper, although it was technically a collection of different wallpapers, as your desktop background and as the day progressed that wallpaper would gradually change uh, until it got to the end of the day where then it would display essentially a night mode version of whatever wallpaper that it was and you can see that with the default to Mojave Desert wallpaper this is the daytime version of the wallpaper and this is the nighttime version and it would gradually kind of change to that throughout the day it, it would just be like a static change from this image to this image so it was pretty cool so what this is is a port of that feature over to Windows 10 and you can download it over on github here and it's also available on the Microsoft Store you can open up the Microsoft Store on your Windows 10 device and download it from there and uh, and yeah that's just another way that you can get it and this is open source it is over here on on github you can view all of the source code you can see exactly how this works and even though it was designed for windows 10 the author says here that it should run on any version of windows with dotnet framework 4.5 or newer installed and so if you don't have that installed you'd have to download it from this link right here which is obviously a pretty simple process so let's go ahead and take a look at this so i've got it downloaded here we're going to run the setup execution and I'm going to show you exactly how this application works. This is licensed under the Mozilla Public License, so that's the license agreement that they are using. And we're going to install it to the default directory, which is in the app data local folder of whatever user account you have on your system. And we are going to create a desktop shortcut as well. Now, if you want to use this program, you would want to have it start automatically with Windows because it does, for the dynamic wallpapers to actually work, this program has to be running in the background and you can also have it associate the .ddw or dynamic desktop wallpaper extension with win dynamic desktop because yes just like in mac os mojave you can download dynamic desktop wallpapers and use them with this program so we're going to click on next to install it and there we go is a super fast installation so we're going to just have it launch once we click on finish and right here is where it asks you for your language so we're going to click on ok because english is the language that we're going to use and you've got three options here of how you want the program to determine when to change the desktop wallpapers to gradually you know progress it to that night mode version of the wallpaper so number one is you can type in whatever city that, that you're in you can also if you have location services enabled on your device or on your computer which you can do from within the windows settings application you can grant it permission to just use your exact location or you can do sort of the manual way and that is specify the exact time for sunrise and sunset and then uh, tell it how many minutes that the sun sunrise and sunset duration is going to be so the default is six o'clock a.m and six o'clock p.m we'll just leave it at that for now just for demonstration purposes and we'll click on okay and then it opens up the select theme window here and this is where you can choose which theme that you want so right now i mean i'm just using Using the standard Windows 10 desktop wallpaper but you can choose Mac OS Big Sur is the latest version of Mac OS and that dynamic the default dynamic wallpaper for Mac OS Big Sur is in here which is which is pretty awesome you, you've also got Big Sur abstract Catalina and Mojave Desert we're just going to use the Mojave Desert for this now the image itself doesn't actually come with the program uh, I, I actually don't think that it could have come with the program because I guess that would technically be copyright infringement because this is a Apple wallpaper. But what it does is when you click apply, the theme will be downloaded to your device through this program. So when we click apply here, it will download the image. And then once it finishes, which it should finish right here, uh, there it goes. It automatically applies it for us. It brings up a little notification telling us that a new theme was applied. And it's automatically chosen image 8 because the system time is 1.13 p.m. So, you know, it's the afternoon. So this is literally exactly halfway through the set of images. We're at image 8 of image 16. So what we can do is just to show you exactly how this works. I can close out of this 
this and the app is still running in the background it has to remain running in the background i can go down here to the system clock i can right click on it go to adjust date and time and we're going to change the time let's go a little bit later in the day let's do around 5 o'clock p.m 5 14 p.m now watch what happens when i click change i'm going to click change here and you'll see that the wallpaper is going to do that nice fade and it's going to change for us so it's not going to be like an abrupt static change from one image to the other it's going to gradually change now because we changed the system clock by four hours it actually went through a couple different versions of the image when it was fading to the one that it's applied now so just to show you if i go back into one dynamic desktop and go to select theme now we're on image 11 of 16 and we were at 8 before so it actually cycled through image 9 10 and then now we're at image 11. And just to show you what the night version of the wallpaper looks like, or at least one of the variations of it, I can go to change here and let's change the time to 10, 16 PM. We'll click change. And now it will change to a darker night mode version of the wallpaper. And if we go into Win Dynamic Desktop and select theme, it's now at image 14, but you can see that we still have image 15 and 16 to go. So this would be the last image that it displays until sunrise. And sunrise is gonna be image number one here. Now, since I have the system set to interpret six o'clock AM as sunrise, what we're gonna do is change the time. Let's go back here. Let's go to adjust date and time. We're gonna set it to six o'clock AM. We're gonna hit change and, and watch what happens here. So it starts started out with image number one and now I believe it's probably on image two if we go to select theme here right now it's on image two and so that's the gist of how this program works but there's a lot more you can do with it if we go into the system tray here and right click on the icon uh, you can also choose to at, at any time turn on night mode which would go directly to the night mode or dark mode version of whatever wallpaper that, that you have. You've also got in the select theme window here, the theme picker, uh, like I said, it does come with a few Mac OS wallpapers or not comes with it. It gives you the ability to download them directly from the application. If you want to get more, you can import it from a file, like if you had one that you downloaded from somewhere, or you can click get more themes online which will open up, we'll just do it with Firefox here. And this is a specific site for Win Dynamic Desktop, windd.info slash themes. And these are a bunch of different themes that you can download and use with Win Dynamic Desktop, which is pretty cool. Under more options here, you can do things like shuffle the wallpaper daily. You can pause it while full screen apps are running so that the wallpaper doesn't change when you're working with a full screen application. You can have it check for updates automatically. You can edit the configuration file, which I believe is a, it's a .conf file. So we'll open it with notepad here. Most of these options in here, you can change and, and modify from the program itself, like from its graphical user interface, whether that be in the theme picker, the timing window, or just in the, uh, the context menu here. But you can also, like if you wanted to specify the language from here or have it use Windows location, change that to true or change the theme name that's currently active. Uh, so you can, or, you know, enable automatic updates. This is essentially the configuration file that it uses to store all of the, the settings that, that you specify in here. And just to show you the credits of who actually created this, we can go to the about window right here. The author's name is Timothy Johnson and uh, you can donate to this project if you want to. I believe this is probably gonna be like a PayPal link. Uh, yes, it is. So if you wanted to donate to uh, the author and you know support development of the project, you can do that because again, this is free. There is no cost to use this. And there are some additional credits down here, like to Apple for the Mojave wallpapers, uh, the you know various contributors and translators over on GitHub. This uses Location IQ's geocoding API and the icons that were used to create the Win Dynamic Desktop application icon come from flaticon.com. So if you were wondering where those came from, uh, there you go. So yeah, guys, that is it. Again, I'm gonna have this link down below for any of you guys who wanna check it out. I definitely recommend it. I mean, again, it's a free piece of software. And I, I mean, I think that the Mac OS Mojave dynamic wallpaper feature is pretty cool. And uh, I think it's great that we now have a, a working implementation of it 
on Windows 10. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload new videos, which I do every single week, multiple times per week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.